Hey everyone, Eric Thompson here. Hope that you are doing well. Welcome back to the channel, okay, for this, the final installment of our book to screen differential series considering Twilight, okay? I have a couple of quick thoughts before we get in, but I don't want to take any time away from Jenny. Uh, the first and foremost, of course, is about her, about Jenny. My dear friend, who, whom I love dearly, and I just feel so thankful that <laughs> that she took of her time and her effort to work on this project together with me. Um, in this video, you might notice she's a little sleepy. Um, in this video right here that you're watching of my, me, you may notice I am a little sleepy too. It's 2.14 in the morning. I'm exhausted, okay? Being uh, the father of a newborn is not easy. Uh, but... I think that that's noteworthy that we stay up way past our bedtimes, <laughs> way past uh, when anyone should be up, you know, to work on these uh, these videos because it's what we really, truly, genuinely love. Uh, both Jenny and I, we love YouTube and we like movies and, and uh, of course I do not like Twilight nearly as much as she does. She having this true romance with it, um, but you know, I enjoy it enough. Um, but what I enjoy more is getting people in conversation about um, books and movies and media. And I love doing it through YouTube. And so thanks to you for clicking over and for watching. As always, like and subscribe if you care to. Uh, and one other thought, um, Jenny's going to mention it in the video, okay? I'm part of Alice's vision. I remember seeing this movie with uh, my dear friend, Rebecca. We had a great time. Uh, and... It's a twist unlike any other. Not having read the book, I didn't know it was coming. Uh, actually, honestly, I don't even know if it was in the book or not. But when they twist it and you realize what's been happening, it's so stupendous. Um, I get that some people just do not care for Twilight. I understand that, okay? Um, but those moments, those twist moments are the reason I go to the movie in the first place, to feel genuinely like um, not only I got tricked, but I got taken on an incredible ride. Wow. And for me, that moment was one of those. Let me know in the comment section below if you also were a little <gasps> uh, shocked when, uh, when they, they broke the truth to you in that great scene at the end of the film. And so um, without wasting any more time, any more words, because all the time and words belong to Jenny for this one. Please, Jenny, take us through uh, uh, Breaking Dawn. I almost said Deathly, <laughs> Deathly Hallows. <laughs> Harry Potter is coming up next with Rachel, okay? So I'm, I'm already thinking ahead to it a little bit. Uh, Jenny, take us through uh, Breaking Dawn Part 2. And again, Jenny, thank you so much. Thanks, guys. Bye. Hey, y'all, and we are back with the final... Uh, video for the Twilight uh, book to screen differential uh, part two of Breaking Dawn. Uh, just really quick, um, last video we had talked, or I had told you a bit about the uh, experience I had going to meet Peter Fashionelli, uh, Carlisle, in the movies. So this is the picture that I took with him and see we matched and of course the glare from my lights is... Um, on that, but uh, maybe I'll have uh, Eric put a better view of that photo up for you. Uh, anyways, uh, part two of Breaking Dawn. Um, this, uh, okay, well, so we'll just jump straight to question one um, before I start babbling. Uh, was the book a just representation, uh, or was the movie a just representation of the book? Um, yeah, I think for the most part this one actually did do a much better job than, um, the other, yeah, the other four. Um, which, we'll jump down to question two, four. Um, what did you miss from the book, uh, or what, what did you miss in the movie that was in the book? movie, blah, blah, um, gotta move my coffee out of the way, for me it is very early, early in the morning, um, must have coffee, <laughs> don't 
don't function well without it. Anyways, um, so what was in the book that was not in the movie? Um, for this one here, um, there's a few things, uh, that I kind of missed, um, or that were tweaked a little bit, um, not to my satisfaction, apparently. Um, <coughs> so we'll start, um, with, uh, Belda's Wake Up. Um, really that was actually done fairly well. Um, I was kind of impressed a little bit with the, uh, with her immediate wake up and uh, seeing all the little bits of dust and all that and whatnot craziness. Um, but it, it sped through the initial um, her seeing everybody um, bit because uh, that it, it didn't quite go as fast as the show in the book. I mean, it probably went by really fast uh, <laughs> in her mind and whatever else because she actually was, um, well, I mean, she's a vampire, so everything's going to go by a lot faster for her than it seems um, in the book. Um, but uh, she kind of takes in a little bit of everybody before she actually sees Edward and actually makes a move or anything like that um so that was a little bit a little bit different um but i guess you gotta do what you gotta do for the movie um biggest thing though was uh sorry still not really functioning well this morning um the alice and jasper leaving bit um that happened way fast. Like you almost don't even realize or understand why Alice and Jasper are just like poof, gone out of nowhere. Um, which you know for the movie doesn't make any sense because in the book you've got a little bit more explanation. You know, um, a little bit more of uh, why they're actually leaving. Um, because you understand that the threat is a little bit more imminent and, um, you can actually understand exactly why everything is going on. Um, they do, it looks like they do their best for trying to speed that along in the book. I mean, not in the book, in the movie, excuse me. Um, but it's just, it's too fast for me. Um. Because it almost seems like, okay, you know the Voltori's coming, you know it's a threat, and you know it's something that needs to be watched out for. And then next thing you know, bam, Alice and Jasper are just gone. And you're like, wait, hold on a second. That happened fast. Um, especially if you have um, actually read the book and you know that they're going to leave. Um... It just, it's like, whoa, okay, they're gone already, cool. Um, so that, um, that kind of was a little strange, uh, for the movie. And then we have Bill's training. That was done very quick in the movie. Um, you don't, they don't actually go into it as much as they should have, um, and it just, it doesn't seem like she spent much time on it, uh, in the movie, uh, because in the book she spends a lot of time on it. She, she spends, like, every waking minute that she can on her training, um, to, you know, expand that barrier that she's got, um, to surround other people. Um, the guest interactions and whatnot at the Colin house, um, that was sped up a little bit too. Uh, I wish you would have been able to see a little bit more of like Bella's interactions, uh, with the different guests that they had, um, at the Colin house, um, Renez Mays, 
uh, interactions as well. I wish they would have done a lot more with Renesmee because I don't feel you see her um, as much or enough. Uh, Bella's trip out into Seattle, that was done a little rushed as well because in the book she goes out um, searching for this guy and she ends up in some weird like dump of an area in Seattle. Um, and so I wish that was done better, differently, um, and not like, um, like it was, uh, a little too fast on that. Um, and the end, that insane ending, um, actually pretty impressed with that because you jump right into that vision that Alice has. Um, and that was pretty awesome. Um kind of blew my mind a little bit, um, but I feel that they put so much, um, effort into that one bit at the end that they missed out on some of those different things, um, throughout the rest of that portion of the book, and it wasn't a very big portion of the book, so they could have done a little bit more, maybe even made the movie a little bit longer just to make sure that those other small, intricate pieces were taken care of. Um, so, uh, question three, which did I like better, the book or the movie? On this one, you know, on, for part one, I said I like the book better, and for part two, I've got to say I like the book better because you just get a lot of those interactions, um, a heck of a lot better, uh, in the book than you do in the movie, and I think a lot of those, uh, a lot of those bits and pieces really, uh, you really miss out on them. Uh, so... That's that. That is my opinion. And um, this is the end of the Twilight Book to Screen Differential. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye bye.